What's up, survivalist? Optimal Matt Finn here, and thanks for hanging out with me today, and welcome back to Remnants. Back here with another quick guide for you. In today's video, I'm going to go over everything you need to know about Trader Joe, what he sells, and where he's located. Now, if you guys have missed any of my previous guides, I'll link a playlist up in the top corner. Make sure to go and check it out. Real quick, if this is your first time here on the channel, consider subscribing for more daily content. If you're already subscribed on the channel, thank you guys for your continued support. Don't forget to hit that like button. All right, so Trader Joe. Now, Trader Joe, since uh, a couple updates ago, he has eight spawn locations now. Uh, he used to just spawn down in the, desert, in the desert. There are six spots in the desert. We'll get into that later. Um, this is an updated guide for you guys on Trader Joe. Um, now, he does spawn up in the prairie biome in the north. Uh, there are two locations up there, so we will get into the locations at the end of this video, so stay tuned for that. All right, so Trader Joe. Now, he does have currency uh, that he uses to trade, buy, and sell items with. Now, the currency currently in the game right now is going to be your metal frags, your gold nuggets, which you can find down in the desert and the boulders down there. The gold ingots, which you can smelt the gold nuggets down in the furnace with a stone mold to get the ingots. And then the newly introduced quartz crystals, which you can get quartz out of the stone boulders here in the north biomes. You have to smelt these down in the furnace without a mold uh, to get these quartz crystals. So this is currently the four pieces of currency in the game that Trader Joe and Trader Hawk uses to buy and sell items with. All right, so let's look at his inventory today, see what he has for us. Go up to Trader Joe here. You're going to hold E to interact. He has a buy tab and a sell tab. Now, on the buy tab, if it says out of stock, that means you cannot purchase this item. Uh, also, with the sell tab, if it says trade complete, that means you cannot purchase this item. Now, on the buy tab, now Trader Joe does have certain items that are specific to him and trader hawk so you can't find these items out in the world something like that would be your kite and armor uh, your wall switches he also sells fuse boxes um, and some tvs and stuff like that you have to get from the traders now since the last update with the repair bench you can get uh, some of these tools uh, for the bench here at the trader so keep an eye out for that. You can get those in the world as well, but he does sell them time to time. All right, so on the sell tab today, he's got some items here for sell. Um, not bad here. So if you have some extra stuff and you want to get some of these resources here uh, to boost up some stuff so you can buy some items, you can sell some of these items if you have an abundance as well. So that's it for this location. Let's head over to another location where Trader Joe is at, and we'll see what he has to sell. All right, so it's a new day here. We're over at a new location for him over here on Carney Road. We hold E to interact. We'll see what he has today. Now, remember, his inventory does change daily, so you have to follow him around to uh, see what type of stuff he sells every single day. Remember, out of stock means you cannot buy this item, so let's see what he has to buy today. He's got some stuff here. It looks like he's selling a soldering iron, which is a new tool for the repair bench. So keep that in mind. You can't find these out in the world, but he also sells these tools as well, as well as some components here. So not a lot to buy here today. There are some items. Let's see on sell. Remember, trade complete means you cannot sell this item. Doesn't have a lot, but if you have some extra soldering irons, I guess you can uh, sell them for the 20 quartz crystals here. But that is... Trader Joe up here on Carney Road here. Yeah. All right, let's talk about the eight locations that Trader Joe can spawn at. I'm going to break these down into biomes for you guys. Now, you have the prairie. There are two spawns for Trader Joe in the prairie. You have Church Town, and you have Carney Road. Now, down in the desert is another biome. There are six spawns for Trader Joe. I'm going to call these out from east to west. Now, you have the shelters. You have KLF Diner. You have Oil Station. Sunset Town 1. Sunset Town 2. And Rail Station. Now those are currently the eight locations for Trader Joe in the game at the moment. 
All right, that's going to wrap up this updated quick guide for you on Trader Joe. Hope you guys found this guide informative. Make sure to comment down below if you guys have any questions, tips, or feedback. Also, feel free to stop by and check out the Remnants Discord server. Link for that is down in the description below. But as always, if you guys enjoyed today's video, make sure to hit that like button. Also, if you're new here, make sure to subscribe for more videos. And I thank you guys for watching. I'll catch you later. Until next time, take it easy.